We are here in New York! Magnolia Bakery now. I feel alive that I've eaten. <laughs> He's smiling. We wanted to go. You're so bad. He's like, if I see it, I'm gonna go. He got his banana pudding. Spilled my entire matcha all over my pants. But we're alive and well. I got this new hat for kids. Very excited about it. Looks like he got vaccinated today. We are back from our little happy hour luncheon. I had a long phone call that I was dealing with, unfortunately, but we are now heading to Joe's Pizza. That it was only like a 10 minute walk away, so I'm really excited. We got some intel about two pizza places, Joe's Pizza and Upside Pizza. Let me know what I was saying. We got intel about two pizza places, Upside Pizza and Joe's Pizza. So we've decided to put our two friends' intel to the test and get one slice from each and decide which one we like better. Doughier, my personal preference. The mushroom so. one was good. Thank you. So we're now at Joe's Pizza. There's a line, which is usually a good sign, right? That means it's good. It is popping. We got Sicilian and pepperoni cheese this time. Okay, official rating of Joe's Pizza. Freaking nine out of ten. Okay, okay. It was, it was good, it was, but now we are headed to Times Square at night, a sight to see, you see how bright it is, it's crazy. I haven't actually seen it at night, like stood in there in the evening and neither has RJ, so this will be our first experience. Together. Together. <laughs> okay. change and now we're heading to dinner in NoHo at Fish Cheeks which I'm very excited for because we saw it in a Fun Bros video that looked so good. Curry. 
we were walking around Koreatown and found this bakery. And I'm grabbing all these red bean buns. Huh? I'm not getting it. <laughs> In Koreatown, and it's so busy. All the KBBQ spots are popping right now. So we're gonna have to come back and try some because it looks really good. It smells really good. We are headed to Chinatown today for dim sum, of course, and then we're going to Soho, probably back to Chinatown for dinner. <laughs> Gallivanting around, but we just went to Stadium Goods and they're handing out some chocolate. It's Tony's Chocoloni. It says, Together we'll make chocolate 100% slave free. Fair trade chocolate. So, my theory is with the cappuccino, they use like a milkshake frother for the espresso and the milk on top, so you get a milkshake frother. I'm gonna test it out. subway in Brooklyn and it literally feels like the subway it's like a portal into another universe what you got in your hand oh sh we're just sitting here enjoying our coffee and this awesome local dude is sitting right here and just gave us a bunch of recommendations to hit so we're about to take the L train, go to another L train vintage stop, and then probably venture around there and then see what we're doing for dinner because he literally gives us so many good recommendations. Now I must go to. This is not Manhattan. Yeah, at least it stops <sighs> We just took the train to Bushwick and we're going to an L train over here. L train vintage. <sighs> I can't breathe. This is one of the <laughs> Recommendations from the guy that we met. Did no, we didn't get his name or anything. He just said goodbye. Never gonna see him again. Sounds like a steal for me.
Museum of Sex for Valentine's Day today and we just got here and we're entering the first room. This is our marriage It is so cold um, and I'm so happy we got here when the weather is beautiful because this is freaking cold. But we are out here, we're outside. We're at the Hudson Yards right now. We just checked out the vessel. They said they're remodeling it or whatever. So it's closed right now. And now we're going to the Highline Park just to go check out the views. It's literally right next to it. So I'm gonna go see. Hello, Mr. Photographer. So we have officially got honked at crossing the street. You can cross that off our checklist for this trip. some lunch to go eat at Battery Park. Is this where batteries were made? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Battery Park. Fun <laughs> number one. Oh. Seven, eight bucks. What tip? That was tip. Seven dollars, one dollar tip. I've ever been worried about like us accidentally taking the wrong train like really far, right? And we accidentally ended up in Brooklyn. <laughs> That's how much we love Brooklyn. <laughs> I got out of the stop and I was like, this <laughs> looks nothing, this is not Manhattan. cozy room. I actually really liked this bed. It was tucked into the wall for the TV. 
all over small. It was very, very cute. There's our clothing rack. And we're all packed up, ready to go. Goodbye. <laughs> our last coffee of the trip and now we're getting one more slice of pizza and then we're gonna get pasta for lunch so we have an agenda for the rest of the, the trip okay wow 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 and first this is a vodka that's juicy we're getting our last lunch in the little italy right now been a sweet day. We're going home to Seattle. How do you feel about going home? It sucks. <laughs> it's always a let's miss our flight. But I said, please just let me know beforehand. <laughs> Thank you.